Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to go over the differences of these two smaller battery packs that could work for a lot of people's needs that don't have a lot of power requirements. So uh, first, it's we've got the Gold Zero 500X here, and then we've got the EcoFlow River Max. This is new to the market as of this year. I believe the 500X is more 2020 is when I, I believe that had come out. So first and foremost, we're gonna go over price, then we're gonna go over the technical differences, what's on paper and what we've seen based on our own experience as well too. So price point, uh, right out of the gate, EcoFlow River Max definitely in my eyes wins because it's $549 based on today's uh, current promotion. That includes shipping to your, to your home in the lower 48 states and there's no US sales tax. The Goal Zero is $699.95, so basically $700. So there's a $150 difference there. I didn't look to see if they charge shipping, so they may or may not with that. And I do believe they do charge US sales tax. But right there for what you get, this is a lower price point and offers a heck of a lot more features. So we're gonna go over the features here. So all of the ports that you have for charging your devices at home, there are a total of 10 with the EcoFlow River Max. There's a total of eight with the, uh, the Goal Zero. So we'll just go over these here real quick. Your standard uh, AC or your 110 wall plugins, there are three with the EcoFlow River Max. They are 600 watts and 1200 watts surge. They do say 1800 watts on paper, but it's it's realistically, it's 1200. Um, now with the uh, the Goal Zero, they're 300 watts, which is quite, quite low. And they do indicate that it's 1200 watts surge, but in my testing, I don't believe that's that's actually what they're offering. And I'll, I'll go over that in a couple seconds here. Regarding USB and USB Type-C ports, we've got two 2.4 amp on the, the EcoFlow River Max. We've got a fast charging USB Type-A, which is 28 watts. And then we've got a 100 watt USB Type-C, which is quite good. With the Goal Zero, we've got two standard 2.4 amp uh, USB Type uh, USB ports. We've got two USB Type-C and a PD. One is 18 watt and one is 60 watts. I, I don't know why they did that. To me, it would make more sense to have 100 watt USB type C, but it is what it is. And then they could free up that spot for let's say a fast charging USB type A, but they didn't do that. Regarding the uh, the DC ports here, so your cigarette lighter plugins, 13.6 volts output, 12 volts on the, uh, the Goal Zero. So this offers definitely more powering with that. There are two more USB ports here. These are called the, um, they're 5521 ports. And these are great for, let's say you've got little LED lights. Like we've got 400 lumen uh, LED lights. They're chainable. I've used up to eight of them together. Uh, actually I've used more than eight. Uh, they can be used like when we've got, this is our, this is our uh, as an example, our Tech 5 South African trailer. It's got a 360 degree awning, which is beautiful to have. We can run the lights all the way around on the inside and have it unbelievably bright in there if we choose to, or it can be used for emergency preparedness. Let's say the power goes out and you want to use it for that. So that's great. They have those and that'll run a multitude of different types of lights like that. Um, I'm not overly familiar with this specific port here. It's going to be proprietary to some of the product offerings of Goal Zero and what they offer with that. Um, back to why I say I don't believe this is a full 1200-watt uh, surge. When you compare the differences between, between the two, two of the tests we ran, and it's in, a little bit later on in the video you see with the ice maker that we used. Um, first and foremost, we used the fridge at home. It's, it's got a, a dual French doors at the top. It's got the freezer below. Ran it beautifully, five and a half hours. Battery capacity on this is 576 watt hours. For it to be able to do that, it's, it's quite impressive. I was expecting, say, four and a half to five hours because this is a 505 watt hour battery uh, pack. But it, within 30 minutes to an hour, and it must have been when the compressor kicked in and it drew more power, your little white uh, AC light, it turned red, it tripped it, and it actually, it wouldn't run the fridge. I ran it two more times, so a total of three times. And it just wouldn't run the fridge. It just it, there wasn't enough power coming from these plugs. So I was quite disappointed with those results because, in my eyes, this cannot be relied on for emergency preparedness just because of that specific reason. Regarding what we have at the trailer, we have a, a portable ice maker. So again, I don't know if people know a, a lot of the portable ice makers out there. They're not energy. They're not that energy efficient, especially when they first start up. So you got those little fingers where the, the ice goes around there, where, where, the, where the ice forms. But when those first initiate for about, let's say the first 10 seconds or so, it's between 1,050 and 1,100 watts draw that we saw. The EcoFlow, it was, it was 
it ran it beautifully. We ran it, I think, for about three hours. We had all the ice we needed for the day. And while we were doing it, this was charging from our 120-watt solar blanket. And it, yeah, we, it was more than enough power. In fact, at the end of it, this was fully topped up. We had ice, and I was able to use it for, for powering other devices. Within five to ten seconds of running the goal zero, powering that ice maker, it just kept tripping it. It wouldn't run it because it was too much draw. That's why I was saying, they say this is 1,200 watt surge, but it wouldn't run it. We, with 1,050 and 1,100 watts, just below 1,200 watts coming or being required for that ice maker, this it just it fell short from that. Uh, regarding how these power, so each of these are going to power from solar. Each of them are going to power from the wall. Each of them are going to power from your vehicle. Where I believe the EcoFlow uh, shines, you can charge, it'll provide 120 watts uh, right from your vehicle, from your cigarette lighter plug-in. Where it really shines is how quickly it charges from the wall. This will, the EcoFlow will actually power from the wall in just over an hour and a half. They say 1.6 hours. Uh, whereas this, um, the Goal Zero, with the, the power cord that comes with it, it's a 60 watt uh, adapter or 60 watt max it'll go through it so we're, we're looking at 10 hours it's going to take to charge so again not that great for emergency preparedness for that reason regarding charging from solar uh the ecoflow river max will take a maximum of 200 watts 25 volts and 12 amps whereas the uh the goal zero here it's a maximum of what is it now 13 no yeah 13 to 22 volts 10 amps, and I believe it's 150 watts is what they say. So it definitely won't charge as quick from solar, specifically from that reason. And regarding solar, the whole premise behind Off-Grid Trek, and we do offer some larger packages, but we offer mostly deployable, portable solutions that you can use in multiple locations that can be deployed and give you literally instant power. So just to show you right here, that's our 215 watt solar blanket. And this can actually be used to power this specific device because it falls within the charging parameters from it. So this is it right here. 215 watts, 13.6 pounds, folds up to the size of a laptop, waterproof, um, and can be used literally in all, all four seasons. So again, that falls in line with what we do with that. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is the EcoFlow River Max. The thing I love about it is Everything comes with it. So all of the charging cables come with it. You don't have to buy any added accessories. Everything's right in the box. The difference between this and uh, the Gold Zero as an example. So here's your standard um, charging cable that comes with it. It's a 60 watt. If you want to increase this to a 100 watt charging cable. So that's still lower than what this charges. How the, uh, the um, just turn that back on how the how quickly the ecoflow can charge because i've seen coming from the wall 482 watts going in just plugging right into your regular 110 uh, receptacle which is quite impressive but this cost i believe it's just under 40 dollars. let's just call it 40 dollars extra uh and not only that you then have to buy this that's your cigarette lighter plug-in to power this from your 12 volt plug-in in your vehicle while driving so to get this close to what this is, that's another $90. So $150 plus 90, that's, that's a substantial difference. And that's all US dollars. So where I'm going with this is, I believe this is a much better product. The EcoFlow River Max is a lesser priced, offers more charging capabilities, offers more powering capabilities, and has a larger battery capacity. So it, it's definitely something, um, Something I use myself, and I think a lot of people are they're going to find it ad advantageous to have. Not only for, let's say, camping or for overlanding or for, let's say, you want to use in a trailer or van life where you have smaller power requirements. It would definitely work really well. But emergency preparedness. Like, think about how quickly this charges. Think about the rolling blackouts that happened in Texas not that long ago with the ice storm that went through there, the snow and what have you. Let's say you know that you have so many hours per day where there's going to be power. The fact that this charges in less than two hours, actually just over an hour and a half, you can have this powered up and ready to go so that the food's not going to go bad in your fridge or your freezer, or if you want to use it to run other devices. Or let's say you're running a gas generator, but you don't want to use a lot of fuel. This would take 10 hours to power off your gas, to be fully charged from your gas generator. Again, just over an hour and a half. So that's a huge difference. 
Either way, keep watching, guys. Um, I'm going to have here in the rest of the video where I show the ice maker, and we're just chatting about that as well, too, while this is being powered from our 120-watt solar blanket. got to say I'm very disappointed. I, I, compared, I wanted to compare all three. Uh, so the, um, the Gold Zero 500, I even had the Jackery 500 here, and then I have the EcoFlow River Max here, and all I wanted to do was just run our little portable fridge, or sorry, portable ice maker. So EcoFlow is running beautifully. Um, the AC ports, so your regular, your regular 110 plugins that you have here, which it has three of them, uh, they're rated for 1200 watt surge. And what I saw on the screen was this little, uh, this little Frigidaire ice maker right here. We've only been running it for, I don't know, not even 20, 30 minutes here. Um, but basically when it initiates, it's just over a thousand watts that it, that it requires. Now, it makes sense that the Jackery, which is their ports when they only have one 110 plug-in, uh, it's rated for um, a thousand watt surge. So that makes sense. It tripped that one. But what doesn't make sense is the Gold Zero is rated for 1200 watt surge. And that one actually was tripped as well too. So what we've got right now is I've got our 120 watt solar blanket plugged in. So you can see the power going in. That's the number up top here. And then the number below is the power being consumed by the ice maker. And here, I'll just kind of show you how everything's laid out. I've got uh, three devices being charged right now. So one of the 120 watt solar blankets is, is powering uh, the EcoFlow River Max, and it's getting really good readings with it just laying on the, the ground. And we've got good sunlight, but there are clouds coming in as well. But I also wanted to say another thing that was really disappointing, uh, because when I, the good thing about all of the, the solar generators that we offer, they're not just great for camping, for RV life, for van life, for overlanding. I want to offer ones that are great for emergency preparedness and where those other two fell short, the Gold Zero 500 and the Jackery 500, I tested them on my fridge at home as well too. So it's got the, the French doors up top, the dual French doors, it's got the freezer below. Neither of them were able to run the fridge for that long. They turned themselves off as well and stopped providing power. Whereas the EcoFlow River Max, it's kind of, in my eyes, the best all around solution for this, for this such a small battery pack. It was able to run my uh, my fridge, my fridge freezer for five and a half hours, which was actually quite impressive. And think of it this way too, because of how well this guy charges, or how quickly it can charge from both solar, from um, from solar, from uh, from the wall, and from from your vehicle. Uh, let's say you've got a grid down situation and you've got a gas generator. Well, then just go plug it in. Plug it into the gas generator, it's 1.6 hours, so just over an hour and a half, and then you've got full capacity again. So you don't use very much fuel to do that, and then you can use your, uh, your River Max to, to power your fridge in the house or whatever other devices you're looking at. But either way, guys, I just wanted to give you guys an example, um, just another comparison, and just what I'm seeing here. Uh, keep in mind, we have several packages available. This is one of my favorite ones for more of an entry level, this EcoFlow River Max because your, uh, your battery capacity is 576 watt hours, but for what it is, it offers quite a bit. And then comparing it to the, um, to the Gold Zero 500, so for you to buy all of the accessories required, as an example, so it doesn't even come with a car charger, it comes with a 60 watt wall charger. The 120 watt is actually more expensive, so you have to add that in. So when you factor all of that in, you're just under a $200 US difference to get a lesser package than what this is. So at the end of the day, the math makes more sense. It's a better package, there's better technology, and it's a much better price. And your cost per watt hour is a heck of a lot less as well. So yeah, uh, have a great day, guys. Uh, my name's Renny, I'm the owner. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, if, you, if you have any questions regarding our packages, I, I'm, I tried to create, and I'm always trying to create, uh, or I'm always creating uh, different packages based on what I'm hearing from my customers and what their expectations are. Uh, but at the end of the day, there's no cookie cutter way to provide power for everybody's specific needs. So our goal is to create packages for people. And if you don't see one that works for you, or if you just have a question, give me a call, shoot me an email. I'd be happy to answer your questions for you. Okay, have a great day, guys. Enjoy. And there we go. So yeah, pretty impressive. Great little unit and it works extremely well paired with our 120 watt solar blanket that's just literally laying flat on the ground right now. Look at that. We got just under 120 watts going in. Okay guys, enjoy the rest of your day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye then.